Exclusion of an Igbo judge from election tribunal panel could send a bad signal. Jimmy Dusu. In the wake of the unveiling of the members of the five-man panel of appeal court judges that will preside over the presidential election petition tribunal in the next 180 days or less, journalist and public affairs commentator Jimmy Dosu has lampooned the judiciary for not including any judge from the southeastern Nigeria of the country for the sake of balance. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In the wake of the unveiling of the members of the five man panel of appeal court judges that will preside over the presidential election petition tribunal in the next 180 days or less, veteran journalists and public affairs commentator Jimmy has lampooned the judiciary for not including any Igbo judge from the southeast region of the country for the sake of balance. While revealing the profile of the court justice during an interview on Nigerian Information FM on Tuesday morning, Jimmy argued that having an Igbo judge as a member of the panel would have made sense because one of the candidates involved in the court's proceedings is from the southeast. According to him, a judge from the southwest is a member of the panel, even though the, the president-elect, whose victory is being challenged in court, is also from the, the same region. Going further, Jimmy also pointed out that there is a judge from the, the same region, the north, as the PDP candidate who is also involved in the election petition trial. He said, we honestly need to be careful as a country. I will have thought that since one of the major petitioners is from the Southeast, effort would have been made to have a judge of Igbo extraction on that panel as well. We can't run away from how we are wired to think as a country and i am glad that someone has raised this issue on social media there is a yoruba woman on the panel and the uh, president elect is from the southwest is there no judge from the east in the court of appeal he asked there these are the little nonsense that should have been taken care of and I, I hope that it will be ratified. If not, it could send a very wrong signal. You can't run away from the matter of ethnic city or issues like this. Yes, it is good for us to insist that things are done on merit. But one man's merit is another man's demerit. So, to take care of all interests, I think an Igbo judge should have been included in that panel. I hope it will be done. If we can have a judge from Kogi around the same region with the PDP candidates on that panel, then why should, why not the Southeast, he asked. These have generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. Let the Igbos go, including them into activities of Nigeria. No words exactly does this nation have for him, have for them. <laughs> this nation need war and they, Igbos, will surely give them war. That is not an issue. If the judiciary and judges are upright, unbiased, it's like a doctor. If you are sick, you don't look for doctors from your family or town to treat you. But a competent and experienced qualified physician or doctor to cure you irrespective of where he or she comes from. That is the position. Our judges should assume they should give judgment according to evidence before them. Then we can as well assume that there is no competent Igbo in all aspects of life. When it comes to Nigeria appointment, 
But when it comes to international institutions, the Igbos are highly placed and recognized for their competence. Are you telling me that there is no single competent Igbo judge in the court of appeal? No single competent Igbo, including Peter Obi, who can rule this country? What is the score of your message? What is the core of your message? Okay, guys. Nigerians are, are, are still talking. Absolutely, we, we need unbased, unbiased judge. It's better to allow Igbos to go. These are Nigerians still talking. After having put in so much to build Nigeria, why are you afraid of Igbo progress? Wake up, Igbos are not the cause of your understandable, terrible plight. You can be as progress as Igbos are if you change your mind and set and begin to think your mindset and begin to think right and work hard positively. Someone said, Ogajimi, you won't bring another wahala here. Okay, this one not be bring another wahala here. I think the man is making sense. If they have a Southeasterner as a, as a judge, they have a, a, a Northern Ade as a judge, why not include a Southeasterner too? So that it will be balanced. These are words the, the Southeasterners are saying that they are being marginalized and all these things keep on happening. What is going on? What is really going on? It would have been best. They also include a, an Igbo, Igbo judge there. Just like what someone asked there, does it mean that there is no competent Igbo judge in the court of appeal? Let there be in, in, inclusive. Let them be inclusive so that Nigeria will have peace. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.